Hello everybody and welcome back to the Hard West. So we are actually doing the madness scenario here and we are heading to the asylum to see what's happening here. It's actually a church but still. Um, we have our posse here with uh, the person brothers or whatever. Um, maybe we should give them a couple of items. If there is a setup stage for this map, I'm not sure if it is, but if there are, I could try to go with only two heat on our main guy. He only has five hit points, that's pretty bad. Mm, it, at least he has a healing elixir. Demon's pipe. Let's check out the cards here. A <laughs> cannibal. Plus aim. Okay, we should give that to the sniper E now. Smell blood. Getting extra sight, I guess that's good for a sniper as well. The movement though, not really that beneficial. Only 40 aim. Oh well, uh, it will be fine. But I'm not sure. Like if it's worth it to keep this on. Maybe we should make a pair or something instead. Go like this. Pair for extra movement. This is the one with the uh, shotgun, I think. We will lose the high card here, but I think that's only sight, so yeah, I don't mind too much about the sight. Barrage would be nice to have on someone else, though, like the one with the pistol heroes. So let's go. Let's go like this, it's fine. Don't need uh, bonuses right now. Mm. Let's share some items here. Let's go! Searching for information about the plague of madness, Solomon and the persons arrived at an old church that had been converted into a mental asylum. It didn't let take too long, it didn't take long for the inmates to mutiny, however, with the staff gun. It had descended into chaotic lawlessness. So I think the setup stage will not be... The church was now a makeshift oh. asylum, but it appeared the inmates had taken over. So much for my hidden the pistol. Guarding the doors, all wore deputy badges that read Turner. Delir wondered where Gilmer's office had been. Probably upstairs, he grumbled. Only Delir knew how to identify the files. You would need to go there personally. Okay. Interesting. This is a, kind of a large map. Um, so we have a graveyard here. It's kind of hard when you don't get the setup stage to explore a little bit. For example, it would be nice to know if there is someone inside this building. Oh, we can't see anyone. Oh, ah, shadow sight. That's good. Someone is floating in the air, but so be it. Uh, so he might run to this window and flank us. So having this position is kind of bad. Don't think we can use Picochet. Might have people in this shack as well. <laughs> we have something to ricochet that from over there, but and here. No valid targets in range. Oh, we have one back here as well. Right. 
<clears throat> I think we will actually take cover behind this if there's someone inside that building. And then have uh, Mr. Sniper stand back here. It will be slow, but. Yeah, I don't like that angle. So Oh. Okay. Sniff sniff. Go. Damn it. Too bad we can't uh, use Overwatch in this game, but it's alright. Here's someone on the right side. Standing in the open like a total noob. Some of them have five hit points here, so we need to make sure we use higher damage attacks against those. This well, this one okay, it only does four damage. Right. Take the shot. So we could either go for another shot like that, or we can take the guaranteed. So we can take this shot instead. It's a sniper after all. What? <laughs> yeah, that just happened. Um, yeah, we need to check this house. I'm a little bit afraid. Mandvik root barrage. Okay, giving me him, giving him uh, extra luck isn't the best. But. So who can he see? He can only see you. So I will actually move away. Okay, he might see you as well. But hoping to make him run to a worse position. Glass broke from the sheer wind force here. Definitely someone really close to this guy. Mm. Is it time for a golden bullet? Is it are we in such a bad position we don't have enough luck? Never mind. Hmm. Okay, no windows here. Yeah, do we have someone? Boom. So we are getting into some kind of flanking position. It's very slow, but we are getting closer. Oh, did I reload? I could save for aim shot. We are fine. We had one guy over here somewhere. Which has me a little bit concerned. Let's keep him pinned down here until we have him flanked. He 
I should hit us soon though. But someone is hanging in the tree. Really? Okay. So the next turn we will be able to flank him. Which is all well and good. Came from true sides. I mean, the shootout feels. Hmm. Damn it! Now I give him, give him extra luck. Oh. Is there any better sniping positions? I guess if we go up here, it would be decent. But we kind of need to approach uh, the big house anyway, so getting up here will just be almost a waste of time, I feel. Right. Damn it. Damn it, so many people to shoot. And I guess we still have a guy here, don't we? Yeah, we have. Hmm. Should I take one shot? Let's do it. Feel like we are getting so easily flanked everywhere. But this should be a kill, shouldn't it? I mean this is a tempting shot, but this woman might just flank us, but then she will just die the next turn at least, so At least he didn't do a suicide attack. Insufficient luck, I want to bounce it this way. <laughs> we definitely have, do not have enough luck for a barrage. She's still standing here. And she has half cover. What? It's a good hit. Damn it, one square away. Let's scooch a little bit closer. Oh, hello there. <laughs> this. This is the worst sniper rifle of all times, doing 4 damage. At least he has pretty good aim. Right. It's a little bit too risky to be in such an easy flanking position when they have two guys here. Yes, they can't really get outside. But could just storm the front here. Oh. I'm not sure if I liked the... Um, is he still standing there? I'm not sure if I liked the uh, luck uh, system in this game. Yellow. It's 
blood. Okay, did someone move out here? Seems so. AI is a little bit strange. Getting all these um, nuns feels a little bit bad. I'm wondering also, what is there a reason why I wouldn't like to get all the free notes? Will I get extra mad or something? <laughs> extra mad, extra madness from it or something? This time, and this isn't a good enough angle, I think. Nope. The worst part is he might just run here and flank us. So be it. It's strange sometimes when you get uh, a full group on the first mission. Two damage! What? Alright, at least we got luck now, so. It almost feels like um, some of these maps have been created later on than the the first scenarios because here they have put these uh, metallic ob objects all over the place like why would you have a church bell over here and like well, it's a church but still it's always something metallic not in the graveyard though but uh, yeah, these maps feel much better than the earlier ones, in my opinion, but... Hmm. Running out in the open like this, it's not a very good choice. We shouldn't have to deal with that many guys. I'll actually have you standing here with half health. Hopefully just to get some nice line of sight. But we need to get the sniper into a position as well. in for this door or not? Oh, we are supposed to get up here. So there must be a reason why we shouldn't take these notes. But I guess death or the narrator will tell us when we get closer. Not sure if I like the close combat fighting too much. I almost feel like we do not have any enemies left. Because the enemy turn ends directly when I my last guy moves. Is any full cover here? Way back here. Just because uh, I think they're very clear, um, not rush it, but feel it's like we have it under control here. Oh, that was a double move. Oh well. 
should watch for these stars a little bit more. Reload pistol. Blood. That's funny. That's funny. Right. So, do we have to do like some kind of defending here? What is this all about? If that's the case, our sniper is in a pretty bad position. Right. So I think we will get madness, but something else might happen that's good for us. A bit of a strange ending of this mission, if this is all we have to do. Oh, we had a stair outside as well. Didn't see that one. Yeah, it really feels like we will have like a second uh, like a second phase or something on, on, on this map. Because of how it's uh, designed. But Come on. Delir searched the room and found documents bearing Trumer Cliff's insignia. Yeah, let's bring the sniper into some kind of uh, <laughs> protected area at least. If using this just ends the mission, I uh, will be a bit surprised. What? Do I have to move all the way back? All the way back? Oh, I can get out this way though. Oh, that was only half cover. Oh well. Come on, there has to be like something to this map. I will just rush for the safe zone because this feels really strange. Because sure, if, um, if it wasn't for this, um, we had combat right away. If we had, um, oh yeah, so. That might be the reason we could bought this key from uh, whoever it was, and then we could have entered the church from the back doors. If we had that, we might have been able to just go in here and take these, but then we had to go over here and fight all these guys. But now we just uh, went in guns blazing. That might be the case. Maybe. I bet I will die now from a stray, <laughs> stray guy here. Yeah, that was interesting. Five minutes, yes. Solomon leaped into his steam carriage. 
Hotly pursued by a Turnus man. Nope. We were not hotly pursued by a Turnus man. It was the same bunch of lunatics that had been in the laboratory when he was first arrived. He was horrified by their ferocity. Clearly, they thought of themselves as lawmen. Between their lack of fear, Turner's leadership and their sheer numbers, they had rapidly dominated the region. We hoped that the documents from the asylum would shed some lights on the madness and its source. Alright. We can go to the lab and analyze this. I think that's a correct choice. I feel like we will have to do more fighting at the laboratory because that map was so big and well made. We'll see. Solomon remained in Truman Cliff's old laboratory. He had truly made it its own. Repeat instructions. Right. So analyze data or okay let's start some research first gunsmithing harmonica gun let's get one more if we have something like that Let's check how many blueprints we have. We have two more. Now we have enough to go to the Indian village though. Get some parts. Or did I give them parts? Oh, I gave them parts. Oh well. That's bad. I was hoping to get... Uh, hmm. Why can we buy parts? Eight bucks. It's not bad. I mean, I want to have it to give to the giant clock guy. Let's see what uh, they sell parts for here. They might not have any parts here. Right. Screw you guys. Let's go to the lab then. And go with more gunsmithing. But now we should be kind of. It should be our last. I mean, we can try. Yeah, we do not have any blueprints. Let's check the workshop first before we move on. Solomon created the blueprint. Right. Harmonica gun, that's pretty pretty cheap. Hmm. Duck foot pistol, that's a nice one. No ricochets. Alright, but six damage, four ammunition. I guess no fanning either. So this is just like <laughs> like a shotgun, but worse. What's the reason? Why would I want to have have a duck foot pistol? Six damage is very good though. Hmm. Might be something. Let's analyze the data. The documents display the clear pattern. When patients entered the asylum, they typically got better and went back home. There, their symptoms inevitably worsened and they would return worse off than before. The same effect seems to happen to Trummer Cliff himself. The process was highly unusual. Father Gilmer was determined to find out if there was other areas affected by the plague in other parts of the country. Okay, so you can go to the railway station. Think about if you should buy anything. Uh, 
Like I want to have, uh, for example, the volcano uh, gun. I think that was at the fate trader because, and this one is really good as well, doing six damage. I mean, instead of that other sniper rifle that does only four damage, and the judge and the one on bandit, we have a lot of pretty good stuff here. At the same time, it feels better to build them yourself. I'm mostly checking the damage, but I mean. It's only a duck foot pistol that does a lot of damage and that's only in close combat space. So. Well, let's investigate the train station. Someone found an abandoned telegraph station and train yard. Official reports and private letters lay scattered everywhere. Someone guessed a wealth of information must be hidden in those papers. Some might even hint at how far the madness has spread. Right, let's research. So while Solomon read everything he could get his hands on, the person guarded the telegraph station. The first round of documents he read were worthless, but Solomon continued, determined not to miss any clue. He hoped his zealousness would not allow Turner's men to get a drop on him. Right. So we have a new fight coming up here. Before we do that though, I'm thinking we should really check out if we can do some shopping here. Let's just buy that freaking duck food pistol. Like I said, why would anyone buy it? But uh, yeah, I have to eat my own words here. Pay with it with cash. Fine. Can we do more research or analyze, by the way? But, but uh, yeah. Feels like we should get some nice items. Nah. Oh, well, tell you what, in the next episode, I will do the rail road station battle and I hope we will make it even with only the duck foot pistol but uh, I hope it will be fine so thanks you guys for watching and I'll see you next time goodbye